Hello everyone. I am Professor Anish Vora and I welcome you all in this video lecture. In this video lecture, we'll study about different passive components. In case of passive components, we'll study about resistor, inductor and capacitor. Let us start with uh, different types of electronics component. We have mainly two different types of electronics component. One is active components and another that is passive components. In this video lecture, we are interested in study of passive components. So passive components are those components which cannot deliver power, which cannot process the signal and passive component absorbs power. The example of passive components that is resistor, inductor and capacitor. Resistor is the energy dissipating type of device and inductor and capacitor both are energy storage type of device. So let us start with the resistor. The property of the material to oppose the flow of electric current through it is known as a resistance and the component is known as a resistor. So when current pass through any material, it pass in the form of electrons and these electrons collide with the atoms of the material and this produce a hurdle in flow of electrons. So this property of any conductor to oppose the electric current, that property is known as a resistance and the component is known as a resistor. We can see the symbol of the resistor. The resistor is uh, indicated with the capital letter R. And in mathematical form, resistance is equal to rho multiplied by L and divided by A and the unit of resistance that is ohm and that is indicated with the omega where rho is resistivity or specific resistance ohm meter L that is the length of the conductor in meter and A that is area of cross section of the conductor meter square so resistance of any conductor that is directly proportional to the length and inversely proportional to the area. So if area increase of the conductor, resistance decrease and if length increase, resistance increase. Rho that is specific resistance and that depends on material to material. When we apply a voltage V across a conductor of resistance R, then current I will flow through the conductor and I can be given as V divided by R. So as we discussed that uh, the property of resistance is to oppose the flow of current. So from this equation we can see that current I is inversely proportional to the resistance. So if a resistance of any conductor is more, current flowing will be less and vice versa. Now let us study the equation of power. Power P that is the product of applied voltage and multiplied by the current that is I. So if we substitute value of I 
then that is a v multiplied by v divided by r and by simplification it becomes a v square by r and the unit of power that is watt in another way equation of power can be written as v multiplied by i that is similar but now we are substituting the value of v instead of i and v that is a i multiplied by r so by simplification it becomes i square r what if current i flows for a period of t second then energy consumed that can be given as w and that is a power multiplied by time so p that is a power and multiplied by t that is time in second if we substitute the value of p that is a product of v multiplied by i multiplied by time t then it gives the total energy consumed if we substitute the value of v multiplied by i that is i square r then equation of the energy consumed becomes i square r t and the unit of energy consumed that is in the form of joule so our next passive component that is a capacitor when an insulating material is placed between two conducting plates a capacitor is formed the ability of capacitor to store the electric charge is called capacitance the symbol for the capacitor and the capacitance we write by a capital letter c here we can see that we have two parallel plate both the plates are conducting plate and in between two parallel plate we place insulating material and then it behaves like a capacitor and when current pass through the capacitor it stores the energy and the energy stored or the ability to store the energy that is known as a capacitance in mathematical form capacitance c can be written as a q that is charge divided by applied voltage v so q divided by v and the unit of capacitance that is a faraday and it can be written as a capital f the unit of capacitance can be written as f that is faraday c is a capacitance q that is a charge the unit of charge is coulomb v is applied voltage volt when a potential difference of 1 volt is applied across the capacitor and 1 coulomb of charge is stored in it the capacitance is 1 faraday the energy stored in capacitor it can be written as w w is for energy and that is a 1 half cv square c that is capacitance and v that is applied voltage so energy equation that is 1 half cv square the unit of energy that is indicated through joules next passive component that is a inductor inductor is nothing but a coil of the wire symbol for the inductor and it can be identified as a capital letter l l stands for inductance so in the coil there is no core so it is known as a air core inductor if we place a iron core in between the coil then it becomes iron core type of inductor and the symbol 
for iron core type of inductor that is like this we have two lines to indicate that iron core is placed inside the coil the property of the coil to oppose the increase or decrease of current through it is known as a inductance and the component is known as a inductor we can indicate inductance with the help of capital letter l in mathematical form it can be written as a product of uh, n multiplied by phi divided by current i and the unit for inductance that is a henry and it can be written as a capital letter h l that is inductance in henry n that is number of turns in the coil phi that is the flux in weber and i that is current in ampere so value of uh, inductance that is uh, related with the flux linkage with the coil when current i passes through the coil flux are generated and because of this flux when we try to increase or decrease the current emf induced in the conductor or coil and that oppose the increase or decrease of the current and this property of the coil is known as a inductance the emf induced in the coil that can be written as a e e we indicate for the emf is equal to di by dt where di by dt that is a rate of change of current in the coil the energy stored in the inductor that can be written as a w and that is equal to 1 half l i square l we know that it is a inductance and i that is current passes through the coil and the unit of energy that is a joule so that is all about uh, three different type of passive component a resistor inductor and capacitor thank you for watching my video keep watching thank you very much